Hello everyone. Today I want to share about my understanding about two concepts: the strong law of large number and the weak law of large number, which we have often we will often meet them in the introductory statistical course. And this video serves for the purpose for you to explain these two concepts to others without the need for rigorous mathematical proof. So basically speaking, these two concepts are derived under the same condition which I have written down here, and they will reach to two different conclusions,、um, which I will explain later. So as for the conditions here, we require x one, x two, x three, this series of random variable to be i i d, that means identically independent. Independently distributed, and we also require the expectation of the random variable to exist. That means it cannot be positive or negative infinity. And under this con under this condition, we can、okay. have the following conclusion, as shown here. We let the expectation of the random variable x i to be mu. And for the S n, it simply means the sum of first n items. So,、uh, for the S n divided by n, which is the number of observation, is you can simply understand it as the sample mean. While for the expectation of the random variable mu, you can understand it as the population mean. Actually, both. Both law will state that the sample mean will will converge to the population mean as the number of observation increase. I think this is easily understood, but the difference is here. For the weak law, for the weak law of large number, it only required the convergence to be in probability, and as for the strong law of large number. It will require the convergence to be almost surely, and this is a stronger version of the above one. And I will illustrate it with the following graphs. This graph is to illustrate the weak law of large numbers.、Uh, it is the I generated many realizations of the random variable S n over n, and as you can see here. As the number of the observation n increase, the realized value of S n over n, which is the sample mean, if you remember, the value will converge. The range of the value will narrow down, and you can expect them to be become thinner and thinner. And you can always draw such an interval here, and you have the you have the confidence that such an interval. Can capture almost all the realized value of the sample mean. However, under the weak law of large numbers, you cannot guarantee that all the that the probability of all the realization of the set of this random variable will definitely fall between this interval, no matter how large you set the interval to be. You cannot. You cannot guarantee the probability of all the realized value to fall within this interval to be one. However, this is not the case for strong law of large number, as you can see here. This is just the one realization of the random variable S n over n, but for any realization of this random variable, we can always have. An interval such that we can sure, we can guarantee that the probability of the realized value of this, of this random variable, can fall between this interval with probability one, and that this is why this version of law of large number is stronger than the previous one, because in this case we can say it converge. Almost surely. Thank you for listening. I will keep improving.